everyone, my name is Pyjama Gamer and welcome back to a, another Game of War kind of walkthrough thing. So, I've, as, I've, as you can already tell, I have decided to keep to my promise of doing a few more videos. I'm sorry that my hair looks a bit, because I went for a shower before I did all this. Oh, that loaded quite quickly, I was quite surprised by that. So I decided that in this video I'm going to have a very quick look at the more section, which I should have looked at last time, but... I was very aware that it was already like 15, 16 minutes in and I hadn't even started touching it, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave it till the next video. So, obligatory advert is now out of the way. So, let's have a look. So, the more section. You have a very quick look at how to play. To be honest, I don't really use this anymore. Sometimes it can be useful just to rehash your memory of it, but it does such a detailed look at what to do at the very first of it that you don't have to use it again and sometimes it can be really vague and sometimes it can't really give you the information that you really want so that's just basically a quick look at the Alliance City. Sending feedback tends to be relating to if you like it, sometimes they'll use it on their website, sometimes if you've had a problem for instance if you've gone on and said somebody has made a payment and I have not authorised it or somebody has changed my login details but I don't suppose you can really do it with that one or if you go into a different if you log into a different account or I brought this pack and it's not come through basically what's going on and they will get back to you pretty quickly actually <coughs> your profile is the same as ta tapping the kind of seven sided shape at the top of your kingdom and that tells you all of the boosts that you city boosts that you have anything like combat power where your power things come from hero statistics resource helps things like that your accounts and devices gives you the ability to create and tie your account into an email which if you've got more than one I would, uh, more than one account I would really recommend because you tend to end up jumping between the two and obviously if you don't have an account you log out of it you've lost it you can't get back onto it you can also add a pin code to stop people get accessing your accounts if they've somehow managed to get your email you can change your email if you think it's been hacked things like that your dungeon is the same as if you tap the little, if you tap the, your orange dungeon in your kingdom. Uh, currently we have a research speed dungeon but they have loads of different ones and we'll get to that one in a different video. Your explorer dungeon is the same as tapping the blue dungeon on your left hand side of your kingdom next to your barracks. Your Facebook referral and your refer a friend, basically you will be given a, a code and when you tap it in you get some goodies for referring it there's some of the good goodies that you get your hero is the same as tapping your hero icon that we kind of had a look at in the last video training is the same as tapping your barracks you can have a look at how many troops that you can and can't train and why building traps is the same as tapping your wall you can see that I've got a, r a red circle with a line through it that just basically means that I've maxed out my wall and I can my wall defenses I can't build anything else crafting is the same as tapping on your forge marches is the same as if you um, if you went into your map and you there would be that kind of symbol the, the soldier with the, the sword and the shield if you tap on that it tells you basically how many troops that you've got out and where they are so you can recall them if you're on a resource tile and you're afraid you're going to get hit or you can see how long you are going to be if you are going to attack somebody it can be sometimes quite useful for, particularly if you have set a rally and you've gone to sleep and your rally's kind of going without you you can recall them so you don't attack anybody research is the same as just tapping on your research tree or your academy and then that just acts as your research tree sorry search gives you the ability to search for any player or any alliance it can be both in your big kingdom or if you know somebody from a different kingdom you can go and basically have a look at them so if i tap search i am going to have and that is basically that is my other account so and um, that's in a completely different kingdom so as you can see 
you can search for it that way, providing that you know their log login details. Your leaderboards is relating to everybody in your kingdom uh, individually. The Every alliance in that kingdom can also have a competition and every alliance city has a has a king. But obviously you don't have as much of that because they haven't really finished doing what they're doing with alliance cities yet. What have we got? Blocked users is it basically you can tap on a if you if you are concerned about somebody, you're concerned about the way they're speaking, you're concerned about the things that you're saying and you don't want to hear from that person anymore. You can tap on their icon and it gives you a whole bunch of options. So let's see if I can show you. I'll use it with one of mine. I think I have that in my front. No, it's not that one. Sorry, I thought it was raining. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just do it this way. So if I tap on there, you can go on I Love Nachos and then you have the option to block. I'm not going to block him though because that would be... Uh, he hasn't done anything to me basically. <coughs> your push notifications is the little notifications that you get on your screen and they basically they will tell you when things are completed, if you are being attacked, if your dig site shield is about to expire, anything alliance related or alliance war. I tend to switch most of it off because it can get very annoying otherwise. The correct for rewards Basically, because this game is a available across the planet, they can sometimes get very confused about what people mean, particularly with abbreviations and translation issues, because obviously you cannot 100% translate one sentence to another, as I'm finding out with a young girl that's just started in my class who is Hungarian, and we are attempting to communicate through Google Translate, but it's not exact, and obviously it can cause a lot of problems and a lot of misunderstandings. So what they say is, right, here's a whole bunch of sentences that we're not 100% sure if they are correct. If you want to, and we'll give you some bonuses for it, we'll give you some rewards, Correct it for us so we, we know that we've got the right thing, which can be very useful and some people get a lot of resources from that. And then sometimes you've got, they can give you kind of like, it's developed now because of everybody going on, so now they have like a best 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 guess kind of thing. It can also be a lot with names because I mean obviously if, you, if I go back on that one, it says hi Amu. Obviously Amu is somebody's name but they're just like is that okay? Is that right? Your options is relating to the game options whether you can put upgrade arrows on, recommend a quests etc. Your building swaps basically you can move your buildings around. So if I tap that one and I move it here and it says move your buildings and then all I will do is I will just swap it back you can move it however you want your kingdom to look. You press on the X to go back out of it and then go back into your option, oh sorry, your more section. Your treasure map is, <coughs> sorry, your treasure map is the same as the icon that looks the same in the world and basically that just tells you your map inventory, how many maps you've got and I've got loads, how to combine it and your journal which I got looked at before. Your treasury is the same as tapping on your little treasury. As you can see, I've got six days and nine hours before I get my investment back, but I will look at Treasury on another day. Your private policy and your terms of use, I'm not gonna bother going on to them. It's basically your T's and C's. The only other one that I haven't gone on is the block because every time I try, it never works. So if I go back onto my main screen, you will see that there's a little B with two blue semicircles next to it. That is the same as going through more and block which can sometimes be really helpful because you can just tap on it and your blog gives you updates about things that are happening in the game. So for instance, the Super Wonder is coming. There's a thing to say that we've got a new uh, monster which is a troll and here's all of the gear that you can acquire during this time and the boosts that it gives you. That's about it. So I'm going to have a very, very quick look on the outer side of my kingdom. So here is the outer of my kingdom. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? 
so at the moment I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine farms. I have one gold mine, which is the one with the one next to it. I've got five mines. Are they mines? Yeah, they're mines. I've got five quarries, which are down here. One of them, the one with the smoke coming from it, is currently being upgraded. And I have five logging camps. You tend to find that you use more food because of your troops and if your boosts and everything expire to upgrade your food then your troops will just eat it whereas the rest of it doesn't get touched they are the only time you use them is if you're training building traps researching or upgrading they don't get used any other way so if i tap on one of my farm i will tap on the level 21 one this one tells me that every hour this specific farm acquires 155,925 bits of food. My hourly upkeep is relating to my troops. If I want to lower that, I can use upkeep reduction and I can also get rid of some of my troops. The capacity at the moment, that's how many I've got, and the hour, total hour, overall hourly income is basically all of my farms together. If I want to get food, if I tap on get food, that tells me how many I've got in storage at the moment and at the bottom somewhere. I haven't used these in ages. There we go. <coughs> if I want to buy some for, for some gold, they're at the bottom. More information gives you a list of what levels you have, how many how many things per hour it acquires and the total capacity. That's it for farms. All farms are exactly the same. The only difference is that obviously this income, this hourly income is lower than my other one because that one is of a lower level. So that's basically your farms. Your quarries will produce stone. This tells me again exactly the same but obviously the amount of stone that you acquire and the resources are different. And then again the long list tells me how many how much stone per hour I can accrue. If I, same with the get stone, it's the same as the get food. If I want to deconstruct it, it basically means it will take some time the, ha the higher up you are. So for instance, if I was like, actually I don't want this quarry anymore, I want to build something else instead. I would click deconstruct, deconstruct it, it will tell me how long it will take and afterwards I can build something in that place. And then to upgrade, <coughs> I can't upgrade at the moment because I've already got one running. But it tells me it will take 19 days to upgrade this particular quarry. The building queue full basically just means something's already been done. It tells me the requirements that I need in order to do it and the upgrades that I will get for it. And then that's just basically that list again. And it's basically saying that for upgrading this, this is what I will get for it. And then your Yep, so your logging camp produces wood and it's exactly the same thing, but sometimes they will take different amount of times to upgrade. And then you've got your mine, which again is the same. This one takes a bit longer. The only other thing, there's a couple of other things. The Here you can see that I have a graveyard. This tells me, the execution side tells me how many heroes from other kingdoms I have executed. At the moment I have not executed any. Losses are people, are the heroes that I have that have been executed by other people. So as you can see, I had one, my first hero was killed 359 days ago and then I lost another one 95 days ago. The ones with the locks on, they added in more plots for you to further upgrade your kingdom. Now it says that I will need... I need 5,000 of these sickles to upgrade in out a rural, they're called rural plots because it's an outside kingdom. The only way to get them, however, oh, they've actually changed it now. Ah, they put, before it was, you just had to buy a pack. You had to buy a pack and that was it. That's the only way you could do it. However, this time they have now said, actually, you can go through the Alliance store and do it. I'm kind of glad that they did that because they, it was really frustrating because it was just, oh, buy a gold pack. If you want to upgrade it, if you want to do that, it's just buy a gold pack, buy a gold pack. So I imagine they've had some, probably a few complaints. 
but I'm not arguing because it means I'm more likely to unlock them. It's not bothered me that is they're not that they're not unlocked, but there we go. The only other thing is the gold mine. Now this is basically if you tie in your Facebook account to your Game of War account, you can uh, you can send gold to anyone any of your friends who play it who you have on your Facebook. I can't I can gift again in eleven hours, but basically I would just so if you go onto gold mine, it tells you how many collections you can have a day so at the moment if I had five Facebook friends who were also on Game of War they can all send me gold and I can receive it anything more than that and I can't to upgrade it requires a golden pickaxe which you can access via Bellock so as you can see it's all there and then that that gives me again to say how many boosts that you can have and basically when the 11 min when the 10 minutes will be done i would just tap on gift all and it would it would give them the gold and then they've got 24 hours to tap that gold and receive it before it expires the same way as when they send me gold i've got uh, it will be like next to where the um jumping red lightning bolt is i would have a gold coin and it would have a countdown on and when they send me gold i have 24 hours to access it before it is gone I am going to leave that video there, so I'm just going to click on stop. Fantastic. Right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like and subscribe if you did. I'm very sorry that I, I mean, I've not had any problems with my screen recorder since, so touch wood, it's, it's been a very, very quick, it, will, it just had a bit of a hissy fit, and then since then it's been fine, so I'm quite happy with that. I don't know what video I'm going to do next. I don't know. I'm going to have a quick look through all my other videos so I don't end up repeating myself. But there we go. I hope you all have a wonderful day, wherever you are. And I hope the weather is kind of holding out like it's kind of holding out here. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!